Amanda, yesterday on Good Day Orlando, we told you how researchers have possibly found what is being called the Delta Cron strain. They say it could be a combo of both Delta and Omicron. Doesn't that sound fun? Joining us live to talk more about that and several other big health stories is our good friend, Dr. Mike from the Fox Medical Team. Hi, Dr. Mike. How are you? <laughs> Oh, I'm fine, Amy. This uh, just goes on and on and on <laughs> and on. It's a never-ending pandemic, right? <laughs> well, it was interesting because they came out with this saying, you know, this was, I think it was out of uh, somewhere in Greece, right? They were saying, okay, we think that maybe these two uh, may have combined, but then somebody else kind of poo-pooed it and said, well, maybe there was some cross-contamination. What do you think? Yeah. Well, viruses mutate, and it, it's possible. Uh, it also is possible, and I know this is a term you've heard, schmutz, all right? <laughs> it might just be schmutz that was in the test, right. and it caused a problem, uh, and, and that led to this, uh, you know, look, viruses mutate. It wouldn't surprise me, but look, Amy, if you were my patient and I do some tests on you, sometimes I'll do a thyroid test, and it comes back wrong or the urine has some schmutz in it or a ditzel <laughs> that's abnormal. So I just repeat it. What I would do is have them repeat the test before we create a, a worldwide concern. You know, who, who knows? But viruses mutate. It wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't worry. All right, Don't good. worry good. about it. Don't worry about it. How are you right. feeling about Omicron? Because the last time we talked, it was still a little bit early on, and, and you know, we weren't 100% sure about what we were going to see as far as patient symptoms and hospitalizations. How are you feeling about it now that we're a few weeks into it? Well, it's kind of like the armpit right now. I mean, we're not doing all that well. Uh, we have tremendous, and I heard the story, is it the fact that people are being admitted and getting tested and they happen to have COVID or are they having COVID? I can only tell you the numbers are way up in my hospital of people that are in the hospital because they have COVID. And then you combine that with the shortage of workers because a lot of healthcare workers have gotten COVID. So it's a little dicey right now, but I am optimistic that come the spring and summer, we're going to see a tremendous decline. And one thing about Omicron, everyone that's gotten it is going to have some immunity, whether they're immunized or not. And I think we will get closer to that herd immunity oh, concept. And then this will be more of a nuisance than anything else. Yeah, and then do you think we'll sort of get into that routine like we are with the flu shot? Once a year, you go get your shot and, and we, it's more of a seasonal thing? That's what it's going to be. Okay. That's my prediction. Okay, let's hope that comes yep. true. I think we'd all be happy to just have seasonal and not every other month. Okay, let's talk about something else crazy going on in Maryland. Really a fascinating <laughs> surgery that they did on this guy who was not going to survive, right? They couldn't give him a human heart, so they ended up putting a pig heart in him. Uh, do you remember the song by Dolby, She Blinded Me With Science? Yes, I remember do. that? <laughs> she blinded me with science. Th yeah. This is so cool. I am so stoked, Amy. This could be revolutionary because there's so many people that need organs. If they are able to genetically modify through genetic engineering a heart or a kidney from a pig, all right, and use that like we do porcine valves, this could really save lots and lots of lives because there's always a tremendous shortage of organs and organ donors in this country. And this could really revolutionize. Say my, my thoughts, my support, my prayers are for that guy in yeah. Maryland. You go, man. You go. It's amazing. Yeah, four go. days in, and they say he's doing well. We heard from his son earlier, and the family is just so grateful to have this extra time with their dad. So praying it works out, Dr. Mike. Yep. Yeah, really cool yep. stuff. Yeah. All right. Got to love modern medicine. Thank you, my friend. Great to see you. Happy New Year. Amy, you blinded me with science. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I anyway. hope you get your sight back before you have to step out into the hallway. I don't want you to trip.